Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 20 of our 30 days of prayer. I just need you all to really sort of stand in awe that you were able to stay faithful and committed in putting God first intentionally for the end of this year and ending the year with intention and know that your sacrifice is not in vain. We praise God for his children. We praise God for his glory. We praise God for his love. Hallelujah. We thank God that we've made it to day 20. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We glorify you, Father God. We magnify you, Father God. We bless your holy name. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, that there was none before you and there shall be none after you, that you yourself have willed us to exist. And in your will, we have our being. Blessings, honor, and glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Blessings, honor, and glory, hallelujah, to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are the first and the last, that you have willed us to exist. And in your will, we have our being. We magnify your name. We praise the name that is above every name, Yahweh hallelujah we bless you we bless you we bless you we bless you lord hallelujah we magnify you hallelujah we bless you lord we bless you lord hallelujah we magnify you hallelujah we glorify you hallelujah we bless you lord we bless you lord hallelujah we thank you lord hallelujah we thank you father god we thank you father god for allowing us to come into your presence on this morning father god to praise and magnify and uplift your name father god we th thank you father god for allowing us to part our lips of clay as we come before you father god cleansed and purified with the blood of jesus christ from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet we thank you father god that because of your sacrifice because of your salvation because of your redemptive power we are able to come before you without spot or blemish for our Father God, we ask you, we ask you to cleanse us even the more, Father God, purify us even the more, Father God, so that we may present ourselves as a living sacrifice without spot or blemish. We thank you right now, Father God, that the blood, Father God, washes over our hands, that we are able to lift up holy hands unto you, to magnify your name and to glorify your name. We thank you that your grace is sufficient. We bless you, Father God. We glorify you. And just as you, Father God, have forgiven us, Father God, we forgive everyone that has done us wrong, Father God. Every Everyone that has spoken ill will against us, Father God, knowingly or unknowingly, Father God, we thank you right now that our heart, Father God, is transformed, Father God, to, Father God, be more like you, Father God. We desire to live a life that is pleasing unto you, Father God. Help us to be all that we have, you have called us to be, Father God. We thank you right now that the angels of heaven right now are surrounding us. Hallelujah. The, as the angels of heaven surround us, I thank you right now, Father God. I command them to create a barrier around each and every one of us that is unpenetratable and unscalable. Allow only those that you have called and ordained to enter in, for we rest in the shelter of the Almighty God and we abide in your shadow. We thank you, hallelujah, that your grace is sufficient. We thank you that your mercies are renewed each and every day so right now we drink of your cup father god we are thirsty for you increase our appetite to receive more of your wisdom more of your word more of your love we desire father god to be father god in your presence perpetually day and night we bless you father god we thank you hallelujah we thank you father god that we sing father god of your love and your justice over our lives to you oh lord we will sing a praise father god we will be careful to 
lead a blameless life, Father God, so that we, Father God, may come before you naked and unashamed, Father God, knowing, Father God, that we have done our best to uphold your statute, Father God. And for those moments in time where we did not, I thank you, Father God, that we have the wisdom and the know-how, Father God, as in the days of old, to come swiftly before you in repentance, asking you to cleanse us and purify us. We will walk in your house, Father God, with a blameless heart. Hallelujah. We will set before our eyes no vile thing. Hallelujah. Your The deeds of your faithfulness, Father God, that men hate, Father God, they will not cling to us, Father God. We thank you, Father God that you, Father God, preserve our heart and we shall not, you shall not be far from us. We bless you, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that we have nothing to do with evil, that you have separated us from darkness and you have called us into your marvelous light. Let your holy glory shine within us and through us and around us profusely like never before. Illuminate our threshing floor. Illuminate, Father God, your sanctuary with your glorious holiness, Father God. We bless you father god whoever slanders father god their neighbor in secret father god you will put them to silence whoever has haughty eyes and a proud heart you will not endure it father god our eyes father god hallelujah will be on you father god just as your eyes are on your faithful the faithful ones that are in this land at this hour father god we may dwell with you forever and ever we walk father god a blameless life father god and in that blameless life father god you consistently, Father God, without hesitation, be, continue to minister us. You continue to minister us, Father God. We thank you that the Holy Spirit blows profusely, uncontaminated, unhindered within our lives. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that no one who practices deceit will dwell in your house and we live a blameless life. No one who speaks falsely will stand in your presence. But I thank you, Father God, that you have called us to stand in your presence. Every morning, Father God, you will put to silence all the wicked in the land. You will cut off every evildoer from the city of the Lord. And we thank you for your justice. We thank you, Father God, for showing equity to your righteous sons and daughters. We bless you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you hear our prayer, O Lord. Let the, our cry for help come to you swiftly, Father God, without hindrance and out delay. Let it transcend the heavenly realms, Father God, entering into your holies of holies, that you would hear the cries of your sons and your daughters that are in distress, and you would turn an ear towards us, Father God, that when we call, Father God, you answer us quickly, for our days vanish like smoke, our bones burn like glowing embers, our heart is blighted and withered like grass. We forget to eat our food, Father God, because of our loud groaning, Father God. We are reduced to skin and bones. We are like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. We lie awake, Father God. We have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long, our enemies taunt us. Those who rail against us use our name as a use your name as a curse, Father God. We eat ashes as our food and mingle our drink with tears because of your grace great wrath, Father God, that is upon this land. For you have taken us up, Father God, and you have thrown us aside. Our days are like an evening shadow. We will wither away like grass, Father God. We are in distress, Father God. We are in destitute. We desire, Father God, you to make your presence known, Father God, within us. A fresh, Father God, awakening. A fresh revelation. A fresh, Father God, anointing. Restore us, Father God. But you, O oh Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown, uh, your renown endures through all the generations. Your Father God, the, the power and the majesty of your name, Father God, endures all of the slander of this world. Hallelujah. You will arise and you have compassion on Zion. And I thank you right now that you have called us Zion for it is time to show your favor to us. It is time. The appointed time has come. The appointed time has come for our stones are dear, Father God, to your servants. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that the very dust, Father God, moves with pity. 
We thank you that the nations will fear the name of the Lord, that all the kings of this earth will revere your glory, for you are the Lord that is rebuilding Zion, and you appear, Father God, you appear with your power and your glory. You will respond to the prayer of the destitute. You will respond to the prayer of the of the oppressed. You will respond to the prayer to the prayer of the distress, despite, Father God, despite everything, Father God, that is happening in this world, we know that you are a God that answers. You are a God that shows up in the midnight hour. You are a God that goes before us. You are our front guard and our rear guard. I thank you right now, Father God, that 10,000 may fall on our right and 1,000 on our left, but we know because we serve you that it shall not come near, near us. Let us be written, Father God, for a future generation that they, Father God, will know that that you are, Father God, our creator. You are our creator. And you have created us in your beautiful image, Father God. May we praise the Lord perpetually, day and night. We look, Father God, upon you. Lord, look down upon us from your sanctuary on high, from heaven, Father God. You view the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners of this world and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and your praise in Jerusalem. When your Father God people and the kingdoms assemble to worship you in spirit and in truth, in the course of our life, Father God, you have broken our strength. You have cut short our days. You said, we said to you, Father God, don't take away, Father God, don't leave us, don't forsake us in the midst of our days. Don't, Father God, give us over to despair. Don't give us over to depression or anxiety. Don't give us over to suicide. Our years go on through all the generations, Father God. Through all the generations, let them remember that you are a God that saves. Let us, Father God, be known, Father God. Your Father God, your rule and your reign goes through all the generations to come. In the beginning, you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like garment, like clothing. You will change them and they will be discarded, but you remain the same and your years your, your reign, your providence will never end. We are the children of your servants. We will live in your presence. Our descendants will be established before you because you have proclaimed it before the beginning of time. Lord, have compassion on us at this hour. We praise you, Lord, with all our soul, all our innermost being praises your holy name. Praise you, O oh Lord. Our soul, Father God, will not forget all of your benefits. You are the one who forgives all of our sins. You are the one that heals our diseases. You are the one who redeems our life from the pit and crowns us with your love and your compassion. You are the one who satisfies our desires with good things. You are the one, Father God, of our youth, Father God, that renews it like the eagle's eye. You are the Lord who works righteous and justice for all of the oppressed. You have made known your ways to Moses, your deeds to the people of Israel. How much greater will you do for us? You are the Lord of compassion and graciousness. You are slow to anger, abounding in love. You will not always accuse, nor will you harbor your anger forever. You are the one that does not treat us as our sins deserve. You have loved us in spite of our sinful nature. You have loved us in spite of our failures. You have loved us in spite of us rejecting you and turning away from you. You have loved us in spite of us trying to fulfill our own plans and purposes. You repay us not according to our iniquities. You are, Father God, as high as the heavens are above the earth. So great is your love for us who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far are we removed from our transgressions because of you. As the father has compassion on his children, you are the one that has compassion on us because we fear you, Father God. We know you, Father God, and we, Father God, palau before you. We lay prostrate before you on this morning, Father God, for you know how we were formed. You remember that we were dust. As for the men of this world, their days are like grass. 
they flourish like a flower of the field, but the wind will blow over it and it will be gone and its place remembered no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, your love is with us with us who fear you, Father God, and in your righteousness, Father God, our children's children's children will see the inheritance of Yahweh with those, Father God, who keep your covenant. And I decree and declare at this hour that we shall keep your covenant. Our children shall keep your covenant. For us and our house, we shall serve the Lord. You are established on the throne of heaven and your kingdom rules over all. Praise be to the Lord God, you, Father God, God, you are the mighty one who is, Father God, doing the bidding. Your angels, Father God, go before us. They obey your word. Praise be to the Lord God Almighty that all your heavenly hosts, Father God, and your servants who do your will. Praise be to the Lord our God. Praise be to the Lord our God for all of your works and everywhere in your dominion, Father God. We praise you, O oh Lord, with all of our soul, all of our power, and all of our strength. You are the creation. You are the creation and you are, Father God, the creator. You are, Father God, our creator. You have created us in your good image and your, you've created your providence upon this earth. We praise you, O oh Lord, with all our soul. O oh Lord, our God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, Father God. Let us get a glimpse. Let us touch the hem of your robe so that we may be healed. We pursue you, Father God, without hindrance and without delay. We pursue you, Father God. We're not waiting for you, Father God, to come to us, but we are coming to you at this hour. Hear the cry of your children. Hear the cry of Zion at this hour. We are pursuing you relentlessly, Father God. Our children are pursuing you relentlessly, Father God. We are pursuing you, Father God. For you, Father God, wrap yourself in the light, Father God, as, we, as if it were a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a tent and you lay the beams, Father God, of your upper chambers on the waters. You are the one that makes the clouds your chariots. You are the one that rides, Father God, on the wings of the wind. You are the one that makes the wind your messenger, flames of fire your servants. You have set the earth and its foundation and it can never be moved. You covered it with your deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains, but at your rebuke, the waters fled. At your rebuke, the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder, they took flight. They flew, flowed over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place you assigned him to go swiftly and suddenly with accuracy and precision. You set a boundary they cannot cross. Never again will they cover the earth. You are the one that makes springs pour water into the ravines. It flows between the mountains. They give water to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the air nest by their waters. They sing among the branches. The waters, Father God, you are the waters, Father God, that are flowing through us and in us from your upper chambers to this earth. The earth is satisfied by the fruit of your work. And how much greater will it be for us? You are the one that makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate. You bring food, forth food from the earth, wine that brings gladness to the heart of man, oil to make our faces shine and bread that sustains our heart. The trees of the Lord are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon that, are, that you planted. There the birds make their nest, the stork has its home in the pine trees. The high mountains belong to the wild goats and the crags are a refuge for the conies. The moon marks up off the seasons and the sun knows when to go down. You bring darkness and it becomes night. How much more will you do? You have harmonized and synchronized all of your creation because you are the creator. Harmonize and synchronize us with you that we are in tune to the symphonic and harmonious movements of the spirit. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from you, Father God. The sun rises and they steal away. They return and lie down in their dens. We go out in your work, Father God. 
to do the work of the Lord until evening. How many of your works, O Lord, have we been able to witness firsthand, perpetually, day and night, and every, Father God, second of our day? In wisdom, you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. There the ships go to and fro, and the Leviathan which you form to frolic there. These all look to you to give them their food at the proper time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. When you hide your face, they are terrified. And when you take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send your spirit, they are created. And when you renew the face of the earth, may the glory of the Lord endure forever. If you, Father God, feed the fowls of the air and you know the proper time, I decree and declare right now that the proper time is now for Zion. Arise, 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 and let our enemies be scattered. You have opened up your hand, Father God, so that we may be satisfied with every good thing. Do not hide your face from us or we will walk in terror, Father God, for we fear you. We cannot live without you. Do not take our breath away before we've accomplished the task that you have called us to have accomplished at this hour. Renew us, Father God. Renew our face upon this earth. Renew our bodies, Father God. Restore us back into right standing with you, Father God. Lead us on the path of righteousness for your name's sake. We will sing to you, O Lord, all our life. We will sing and praise to you, O God, as long as we live. May your, our meditations be pleasing unto you as we rejoice in you, O Lord. But for the sinners, let them vanish from the earth and the wicked be no more. Praise be to the Lord, our God, with all our soul, all our power and all our might. We praise you, O Father God. We bless your holy name. We recall the provisions of old, Father God. We give thanks unto you, O Lord. As we call upon your name, make known among the nations what you have done. We sing to you, Father God. We sing praises unto you. Tell us of your wonderful acts, Father God. Glory to your holy name. Let our hearts, Father God, seek the Lord and rejoice. We look to you, O Lord, for our strength. We seek your face always. Remember the wonders that you have done. Remember the wonders that you have done from the days of old. How much greater will the latter be? Because your word says that the latter shall be greater than the former. Your miracles and your judgments, Father God, you pronounced. The descendants of Abraham, your servants, the sons of Jacob, you have chosen. You are the Lord, our God, and your judgment is over all this earth. You remember your covenant forever. The word you commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant you made with Abraham, the oath you swore to Isaac, you confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. You said, I will give the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. Will I command Canaan to be released right now? I command us to possess Canaan right now. When they were, Father God, but few in number, you told this to Israel. Israel wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. You allowed no one to oppress them in all their wandering. You allowed no one to, Father God, overtake them. For their sake, Father God, you rebuked kings of the nations. We call upon you right now to rebuke the king of Persia, to rebuke the king of the United States, to, to rebuke the king of the one world order. We decree and declare your providence over our lives like never before. We sever the hand of the devourer over your sons and daughters right now, Father God, and decree and declare an overflow of your abundance, an overflow of your strength, an overflow of your mercy. Hallelujah. Consume and overtake us. Let your right hand sweep us up into your bosom like never before. Let your right hand crush our enemies like never before, Father God. We thank you right now. Hallelujah. We call, Father God. You call down famine on the land and destroyed all the supplies of food. 
you, you said, do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. I invoke the word of the Lord right now that no harm shall come to your prophets, no harm shall come to your anointed ones, that no one will be able to touch them for you have already touched your anointed ones and you have blessed them. I command the blessings to manifest swiftly and suddenly. I command them to come forth into the spirit realm and manifest into the natural realm. I decree and declare that it is birthing season. I decree and declare an overflow right now. Consume and overtake this earth. Consume and overtake this land. Father God, as you called down the famine on the land and destroyed all their supplies of food, you sent a man before them. You sent Jacob, Joseph, Father God. You sold Joseph off as a slave where most would have thought that that was the end of his life, Father God. But it was your divine plan and your divine purpose in his life to strategically position him. They bruised his feet with shackles. His neck was put in irons till what he foretold came to pass. You gave your prophet Joseph the word of the Lord till that word of the Lord proved him to be true. The king, Father God, sent and released him because you strategically positioned him into the enemy's camp. I thank you right now, Father God, that the prophetic word that you have called your prophets to release at this hour, that you have sent them into the enemy's camp. And I thank you right now that just as you did with Joseph, you will do it to your prophets of this day, that they will release the word of the Lord in divine alignment according to your plans and purposes. And that the kings of, this, of these nations, Father God, will send to release your prophets. You made him master, Father God. You made him a master, even though he was sent to be a slave by man. Because what title does man, what power, what title matters except for the title of the Lord? You made him a master of his household, ruler over all he possessed to instruct the princes as he pleased and teach the elders wisdom. Then Israel entered into Egypt. Jacob lived as an alien in the land of Ham. Lord, you made his people very fruitful. You made them too numerous for their foes. You even sent Moses, your servant, and Aaron, who you had chosen. They performed miraculous signs among the people. Your wonders in the land of Ham. You sent darkness and made the land dark for they had not rebelled against your words. You turned their waters into blood, causing their fish to die. You sent Father God a plague of frogs into the land, which went up into their bedrooms of the rulers. Father God, you spoke through Moses and there came swarms of flies and gnats throughout their country because they rebelled against your word. They denied your perfect truth, but I decree and declare in this hour, Father God, we do not deny your truth. Give your prophets the strength and the power to release the word of the Lord, line upon line and precept upon precept. Father God, Moses wasn't prepared. Aaron wasn't prepared. Nobody was prepared to fulfill the call in their natural state of mind, but you strengthened them. You equipped them. You gave them the tools and the resources to fulfill their calling. Give us the strength and the resources at this hour to fulfill our calling so that we may, Father God, be active participants in the upbuilding of your kingdom. You struck down the vines of Egypt and the fig trees. You shattered the trees of their country. You, he spoke and the locusts came. How much greater will it be for us? Grasshoppers without number, they ate up every green thing in their land, ate up the produce of their soul because they rejected your word. You did all this so that your children, that Zion, that Israel, would know, would not be oppressed. You struck down all their firstborns in their land, the first fruits of all their manhood. You brought out Israel with silver and gold 
from among their tribes, no one faltered. Egypt was glad when they left. That's how much you rebuked them because they came against your sons and your daughters. They came against your inheritance. And we thank you right now that you, Father God, will do even greater for Zion. You will do even greater for your inheritance that is remaining upon this earth. You spread out a cloud as a covering and a fire to give light at night. Israel even asked and, and you brought them quail and you satisfied them with bread of heaven. Right now, Father God, we ask for healing to be released in our bodies. We ask for finances to be released in our bank accounts. We ask for homes to be released in our land. We ask, Father God, our land to be released. We ask for our children to be released. We ask for our spouses to be released. And just as you satisfied Israel, so shall you satisfy us because you are the everlasting God. You do not change. You are the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You opened the rock and you gushed out water. Let us drink from your living water like never before. Let the living water pour into our being, causing Father God a life a spring of life to sprout forth within us from the soles of our feet to the crown of our head. Let us be gushing geysers upon this earth that the multitudes can drink from. Use us like never before, Father God. You remembered, Father God, your holy promise given to your servant Abraham. We ask you right now to remember that over us. We ask you to remember that for us, Father God, for your inheritance. You brought out your people with rejoicing. We rejoice right now. We rejoice right now when all are in Jubilee, knowing that you are the one that will do it again, that if you did it yesterday, you will do it today and you will do it tomorrow. I thank you right now, Father God, that we shall live and not die. I thank you that our children are on fire for you. I thank you that our finances are overflowing. I thank you that our homes are established. I thank you that our marriages are established. I thank you that our bodies are established. You gave them the land of the nations. How much more will you do for us? They became heir to what others had toiled for. Father God, they didn't even have to do the work. So I thank you right now. The only work that we're committed to doing right now is not letting go of standing upon the word of your, of your word, Father God, standing upon the word that you spoke to Abraham. We praise your holy name, Father God, for you are the one that will keep your precepts. You are the one that has established the statutes and the law. You are the one that established the promises and we observe your law. We uphold your precepts. We praise you, Father God, for your holiness. We praise you, Father God, that you are, Father God, greater than any circumstance we're dealing with right now. We thank you for the yes and amen. Hallelujah. We thank you for the yes and amen. We thank you, Father God, that the field that you are pouring, that you are giving unto us, we thank you for the promises, Father God, that you are fulfilling over us and the lives of our children will be more than we could have ever worked for. That it will be an overflow of finances, an overflow of an inheritance, an overflow of your promises, an overflow of your healing. That that overflow, Father God, will pour out into our communities, will pour out into your churches, will pour out into your kingdom. So that even the widow that is sitting at home, that even the single mother that is sitting at home right now will receive of your overflow because it will be a tidal wave that consumes and overtakes your sons and your daughters. That you have called us to go forth and apprehend. But by the God, I thank you that in our apprehension, just as Jesus took from the, from the little boy and fed the multitudes, I thank you right now that as you use us, Father God, you will feed the multitudes, you will feed the single mothers, you will feed the widows, you will feed the orphans, you will feed the single fathers. I thank you, Father God, that the multitudes will eat and be satisfied based on the obedience of your chosen vessels. And I thank you, Father God, that we are a company of obedience. We are a company that swiftly obeys your word and upholds your statutes. 
because we fear you, Father God. Without you, we are nothing, but with you, Father God, I thank you that we are kings manifested upon this earth, that we are heirs of the most high God. We bless you, Father God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We glorify you, Father God. Blessings, honor, and glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Blessings, honor, and glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. For you have called it, and so shall it be. You have called it, and so shall it be. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for your word. Hallelujah, we thank you. Hallelujah, we thank you. Hallelujah, we bless you. We thank you, Father God. We glorify you. I need you to know that at this hour, God is releasing, God is releasing into you. You have to get past yourself. You have to get past yourself. You need to stop looking at yourself and, quali and qualifying yourself based on natural standards. God said that what he is doing in your life is call it, is going to be done supernaturally. It doesn't matter what pedigree, it doesn't matter. God says, I need you to press forward. I need you to press forward towards the mark. I need you to not waver. I need you to not look to the left or to stop looking at others, highlight reels and think that you're behind. What God will do for you greater than you could ever hope for or imagine. But you have to keep your mind on the things that are upright, just holy and of a good report. God says, I need you to get out your own way. I need you to stop rationalizing in the natural. The thing that I am doing is coming from the holies of holies and I am pouring it out into the heavens. Focus on my precepts. Focus on what I have called you to do. I don't need you to figure out how it's going to happen. I just need you to know it's going to happen. I need you to stand firm upon my promise. Because if I said it, so shall it be. I will take you from an entry level position to be a CEO of a company. And I can do it in a, in literally in one spoken word. And I am doing that in one spot. I need you to understand the natural progression that you're looking to accomplish. These things that I have set before you are not what I need, what I abide by. I am the creator. I make the path and everything is synchronized and harmonized with my movement, not yours. I need you to surrender your plans. I need you to surrender your thoughts. I need you to surrender your emotions. I need you to be so perpetually focused on me that you have no room to think about anything else. I need you to be so perpetually focused on the outcome that you have no room to figure out how to get there because I will order your steps. I will make a way where there was no way. I will not just open doors, but I will create doors for you. This thing that I'm doing has never been done before. You were called to break the generational strongholds, the wrong ways of thinking and the wrong ways of living. You were the one that was chosen to break generational curses. You were the one chosen. And because I chose you, I have already qualified you. I have already qualified you. Yes, it may look like all hell is breaking loose in your life right now, but I need you to know, I need you to know that 
the call the storm comes right before the calm the the sun rises everything will look like it's falling away but know that the only things that are falling to the wayside are those things that you cannot take with you into this next elevation let those things fall away let go of those people let go of those habits let go of the procrastination let go of the doubt let go of the anxiety stop taking ownership when you speak over your tongue your the power of life and death is in your tongue when you say i am broke or i am poor or i am stressing or i am unsure those things begin to manifest god is saying clasp your tongue to the roof of our your mouth lest you sin against yourself because right now you because the prophet anointing has been released over your life you are speaking against yourself and so god is blessing god is pouring in and then something happens and you doubt or you say something out of your emotion which then now is in battle with what god has spoken and you wonder why you're stagnant it's like a tug of war the less you speak against what god has uh, said the less you speak out of emotion the less you speak out of anxiety the less you speak out of depression the less and and god is saying to some of you it's you don't even say it out loud but you be you're thinking it and god says i need you to control your thoughts because as a man thinketh so is he the only thing that i need you to say over your life is it is and i am you say the opposite of what your what your mind is trying to tell you when your th- mind says i'll never make it you say i have made it and i am making it if you receive the word of the lord say i am and it is type it in the chat i am and it is 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 it is already done some of you are very visual and so for those of you that are visual i need you to i need you to plaster pictures all around you of that thing that god has spoken over your life and when you see it say i am and it is i am and it is i am wealthy i am a homeowner i am employed i am married And if you understand the meaning of the word I am, God says that I am the great I am. I am is a proclamation. It is a declaration over your life. And it nullifies any human experiences that are trying to invoke or contradict what God is trying to do in your life. It contradicts it. Remember, God says he is the great I am. God is seen as self-sufficient and self-existing. When you say I am, it is a declaration. It's saying that I exist. That I am and it is. Amen. Amen. If this word blessed you today, type an amen in the chat. He never seems. He always comes with a fresh revelation. I praise God. Father God, we thank you for your spoken word. We thank you right now that this word will be a word that your sons and your daughters mull over. They will meditate on this word that was released at this hour day and night. I thank you right now, Father God that this word father god will manifest in their lives swiftly and suddenly i decree and declare that this word fell on good soil prosperous soil and there shall be an overflow of fruitfulness in every area of their life we seal this word with the blood of jesus christ and decree and declare that this word shall live and not die because 
We are, and it is. Everyone have a blessed and prosperous day, and I will see you tomorrow on day 21. Enjoy your day, everyone.